show that x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial p of x which is 6x six cubed minus 13x squared plus 4. Okay, so how can we do this? So we can, using remainder theorem or factor theorem, uh, this is one way of doing it. So we can say, well, uh, the remainder, if, if x minus 2 is a factor, so what does this mean? So if x minus 2 is a factor, is a factor, uh, this implies uh, p of 2, p of 2 is 0. This is according to the remainder theorem. Now, where did I get this 2 from? I have to set this, what, whatever you're going to divide equal to 0. p of 2 equal to 0, sorry, x minus 2 equal to 0, so x is equal to, so x is equal to 2. So that's where I got the 2 from. And if you put 2 here, so p of 2 would be what? This would be 6 times 2 cubed minus 13 times 2 squared plus 4. Okay, so this is 6 times 2 cubed is 8 minus 13 times 4 plus 4. So this is equal to uh, 6 times 8 is 48. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. This is 26. 13 times 2 is 26 and then double it which is 52 plus 4. Now 48 minus 52 is negative 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. So this is one way of doing it is one way of doing this. You can do also this by doing the long division. So when you do this way, you can only find the remainder. But when you do the long division or synthetic division, you can find the other factor and also the remainder. So what you do is you set out the numbers like this. So here this is this polynomial can also be written as 6x cubed minus 13x squared. There is no term of x. The term x is missing. If it's a cube squared, logically you should have a term of x. So you're making up a term of x by writing 0x plus 4. And now I'm going to write the coefficient of these, these, this polynomial here. So the coefficient of x cubed is 6. The coefficient of x squared is negative 13. The coefficient of x is 0 and the coefficient of, or the constant is 4. And you're going to divide by 2. So this is called a synthetic division. And uh, you, you start with a 0. Okay, so this is a bit algorithm, but you have, if you remember the algorithm, it's very efficient. So you add these two numbers. So 6 plus 0 is 6. And then you multiply these two numbers. And you write the product here. So 6 times 2 is 12, sorry, 2 times 6 is 12, and then negative 13 plus 12 is negative 1. The same process, multiply 2 times negative, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and then you add these two numbers, which is negative 2. Multiply these two numbers, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So this is the remainder. This is the remainder remainder and these are the coefficient of the quadratic polynomial when you're dividing a cubic uh, polynomial by a linear polynomial the quotient would be quadratic so you can see so now we are moving on to the next part we want to solve this so let me write that 6x cubed minus 13x squared uh, plus 0x, let me write, plus 0x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we know x minus 2 is a factor, so we can say, well, that is x minus 2 times something. Okay, is equal to 0. So logically, you can understand this should be a quadratic polynomial because this times 
a quadratic polynomial gives you a cubic polynomial. So now these numbers are the coefficient of the quadratic polynomial. So this would be 6x squared minus 1x minus 2. So or if you want to check your answer, if you expand these two brackets, you will get this. Okay, that you can do yourself. So now we can set each of them equal to 0. So we can say x minus 2 equal to 0 is equal to 0. And you can also set this equal to 0. 6x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. So this is x is equal to 2. Okay, now this, as this is a quadratic equation, you have to have, you can put this in two brackets. So I'm going to start with, say 6x squared can be written as 2x times 3x. So this is a method called guess and check. Okay, so we know, how do you write 2x and 3x? Because I know 2x times 3x gives you 6x squared. Now, I have to look at this number. I have to pick, uh, sorry, pick two numbers which multiply to give you uh, negative 2 and also should give you negative 1. So I'm going to write, and this is where it's very difficult at times tricky. So I want a negative 1, okay, and also 2. So 2 you can get by only 1 times 2. Okay, so this is 1 times negative 2, or you can also write negative 1 times 2. So now the trick is where, where are you going to place 1 and negative 2 or negative 1 and 2. So let me say if you, if you write negative 1 and plus 2, will this work? So let's do a, a bit trial and error. So here if you multiply this 2, what are you going to get? This is minus 3x and this is plus 4x. So will minus so let me show the working. So if you multiply this 2, you're getting minus 3x. And if you're multiplying this 2, you're getting plus 4x. And that is equal to plus 1x. But we want, but we want what? We want minus 1 here. So let me swap it around. So let me make this plus and this minus. And this minus. So what will happen? So what will this will change. So now you've got this 3 times x is 3x and 2, 2x times negative 2 is minus 4x. So this is minus 1x. So this combination is right. And this is where uh, it can be tricky at times. But in, if you're lucky, you may get it in first go. So now you can set each of them equal to 0. So well, you can say 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 or 3x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, so now taking away 1 from both sides, you can say 2x is equal to negative 1. So x is equal to negative half. Leave your answer as negative half and if you are adding 2 to both sides, you can say 3x is equal to 2 and dividing both sides by 3, x is equal to 2 thirds. So these are the two, these are the three answers. So we can say x is equal to 2, it can be negative half or 2 thirds. Okay, so let's check this on a calculator. Okay, so how do you do it on a calculator? So this is your polynomial. Okay, we want to solve this. So we can use the equation menu. Uh, go to equation menu. and go to polynomial. It's a third degree polynomial. So we need to write the coefficient, A is the coefficient of x cubed, which is 6. B is the coefficient of x squared, which is negative 13. And C is the coefficient of x, so you have to put 0 there. And D is the constant, so we put 4 there. And then solve. So you've got three answers, 2, this is 2 over 3, and this is negative 1 over 2. So this is how you can do uh, with, with a calculator and without a calculator.